Welcome to part two of the 160 and 80 meter transmitter. A uh, bit more of an update. We have now mounted an ECC83, a 6BW6, the auto transformer, and I've also used the power supply that was done for the homemade TV. This is capable of doing about 250 volts uh, to 100 milliamps, so it's more than capable of doing this type of thing. Trying to get, I am still trying to get a sorted out a transformer just for this one, so I'm not using that big one. And what I've got here next to me is a Hewlett Packard scope, and basically a scope probe connected to it as a, a pickup loop. And down on the floor here, an IFR 1000A is going to act as my audio SIG gen. So, it does seem to perform, it does seem to do okay. Um, at the present time, because of the larger transformer, I've got about 270 volts on the, on the anode when I actually power it all up, which is what I'm going to do now. And then I'll take you through the testing. I'm going to put some mod into the transmitter and let you see the recovered waveform. So, bear with me while I just power it up. I'll get on with it. Okay, here we are. We're transmitting. It's peaked for max output into the light bulb. And it's drawing around about 40 milliamps of anode current. It's got about 270 volts on the anode. So it's slightly over 10 watts input. What I've done on the scope here is move the, the pickup loop, this thing. So I'm basically getting four divisions vertical. So each division, if I'm getting AM correctly, if I'm, my thinking is correct, um, that's zero mod. If I manage to get 50% mod, then the peaks would reach the next graticule up, and the troughs would be the next graticule down. So after that, if I get halfway down through the bottom one, I'll have about 75% mod. So here we go. Let's wind it on. Now what I'll do first is I'll move the the camera a bit closer to the scope so you can actually see what it's doing. Okay, there we go, looking directly into the scope. I shall now start putting some mod on. That would be 50% modulation. That's a 1kc signal going in from the test set. It's a little bit jittery jittery it doesn't like uh, locking all that well when I've got uh, the frequency going straight in off a just off a loop it's not triggering very well but that's 50% mod if I take it up a bit more that would be about 75% modulation and that point there you can see it's starting to square off. So just out of that. Oops, missed it. About there. Oh, come on. A bit finicky. If I can turn it off on that one. There we go. It's about the cleanest I can make it. 50, 60, 70, 80% mod. So I reckon it's further clean up to about 80% modulation after that it starts to limit badly I'll take it up even higher so I'll leave it at there about 80% modulation now that's at 1kc tone I'll probably have to play with the scope once I've actually started um, change the frequency of the audio but if I go down to 
300 300 hertz uh, let's try and get the triggering a bit better there we go 400, 500, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1kc, 2kcs, kcs, 3kcs, kcs. and I've still got the same, roughly the same sort of level, I'm probably dropping now to about 75%. 4 KCs starting to roll off 5, 6, 7. Oh, come on, lock it on 7 KCs mod. There we go. And I'm no less than 50%. Let me see where my 50% mod is. 50% mod at 5 KCs. I could probably do with a little bit more roll off to keep the bandwidth uh, a bit lower than, than I've got. Probably add uh, a capacitor or something to the output of the modulator just to, uh, to provide some roll off. But that's the stage up to now. Let me see if I can. I can increase that back up to. level as before bring it back down to 50% 4 KCs 3 2 1 and trim the scope again come on lock in for me you put it. there you go so not bad so I reckon that's around about 80% uh, modulation. Come on, Scott, that's it. So not bad. One thing that does change is if I point it down at the bulb, put the modulation on. And the extra power was into the lamp as well. So there we go. This is part two. A bit close to the thing. Bring it back again. It's a bit caught for space here. There we go. So. The next stage would be to start thinking about boxing it up a little bit more on the modulation stage. It's fun playing. Um, but something to reduce the audio bandwidth a little bit. And uh, as I say, waiting. I've um, got a quote out, or trying to get a quote for a better mains transformer. At something like 120 140 milliamps at 250 volts so I can build a slightly smaller one of these yeah but 85% is the maximum it calls to it starts to it starts to round off the boat on the peaks on that one I don't know if there's any point in trying to do a better transformer um, it certainly seems to be capable of doing enough for a top band transmitter. Okay, part two. The part three would be, I suppose, getting it cased and getting a power supply. And as I've got to wait for power supply to get uh, the transformer to get mod to manufacture it, then uh, this could part three could be a little while off yet. Thanks for watching. Have fun.